Are we live? We are live. Hey. Hi, Hi everybody. Hi, everybody. Okay, we didn't know what to talk about today. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were just at the very last minute. What do we say? If anyone has what? any ideas, by the way, for the future, please feel free to drop them underneath. I this know little... you could really make an effort and give us some topic that you are interested in, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Everybody listening, don't be mean. <laughs> be generous. Help us out. <laughs> yeah, help us we've out. Been doing, okay. We've been doing these calls for, I think, over a year every week, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we're running out of topics, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we are. All right. Abby, let's talk about the, um, why am I not managing my screen? Hang on. I really am not managing my screen every time. Okay. Okay. I think we should talk about the the very nature of what it is to be human, right? Like, um, Beautiful. what I mean is, how do we know what the true nature of human is, right? Well, we really having this seminar, frankly, uh, I'm leading this seminar of incredible, inspiring, irresistible human. So I've been doing a lot of research on the nature of human beings throughout the ages and all that. And I realized that People don't, um, I don't know if we think about what is it to be true to oneself, right? Like to, what is the nature of human being? And I am that the nature of human being is good. Yes, I agree. Yeah, it's all of them. I'm talking about everybody, right? Everybody is born good, fundamentally pure. Pure, pure yeah. love, right? Yes. Pure love. And why I'm saying that, right, is that what is the most important desire for a human being, Abby? What is it that we all want above everything else? Is it love? I mean, I would say love. Because? It seems to me, this is just my. No, but, but what would love give you? Um, oh, that's a good question. Like belonging or uh, not separateness, like not feeling separate. I think what most human being wants is happiness. Hmm. But th th that's the problem too, because happiness, you see, we need to put a language to, we need to use two words because there is happiness in the ego and there is happiness in the spiritual connected to the soul, right? Yes, yes. And absolutely. if we use happiness for both, we're going to get all messed up. So I use happiness when it is in the material world, the human happiness, right? And the human happiness is dependent on the circumstances of your life. If you have money, no money, if you have the right weight, if you're in a relationship, you know, happiness for a human is tied to the circumstances of life. If you are in the middle of a war, you can't be happy. Right, yeah. Okay, so happiness is tied to the circumstances of life. So it goes like a yo-yo, right? Because circumstances, yeah. the whole world always changes. Everything always changes. You can't be happy all the time. You can be happy and then have a flat tire. You'll be unhappy. Yes. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> it can happen just like that. <laughs> yeah. So I, I call joy the, the state of being that is independent of uh, circumstances. So and I always yeah, give the example of Nelson Mandela, 27 years in nine square meters. He wasn't happy about being tortured and locked in nine square meters. But he walked out shining with joy, right? Wow. Yeah. So what so were you would you call to? joy? This is just a question. Would you call joy more like a space and happiness more an emotion? Or well, joy is inside, internal, right? It's okay. it's it only depends on you and your connection to the spiritual. Happiness is connection to the material world. Okay, 
So happiness right, is so horizontal. happiness is horizontal, joy is vertical. Okay, got it. Because and, and it's, I'm not saying I have the truth. I'm just saying I need two words. Yes, yes. I get that. Because otherwise you call everything happiness, you get all confused, right? So I yes. think what people want most is joy. Yes. That general like ease and contentment in life that feels not yeah. so easily Peace. rocked. Yeah. Peace and love and connectedness and right. Yes. That makes you be in joy. Yes. Right? Mm. Or spiritual happiness. I mean, we, we could call it spiritual happiness, right? Yes. Yeah. So if that is a main desire of everybody, Abby, that must be the nature of human being, right? Wow. Right. Like that, the, the returning home-ness. Yeah, we of, all have that need. Yeah. I have never met a human being that said, no, I don't care about being joyful or happy. I don't care. I want to be unhappy and have a, joy, <laughs> a life with no joy whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So it seems that our evolution is turned towards that objective, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's very true. So, therefore, the access, what is the access to experience that joy? Well, I think it's love. Mm. That, that I don't see another way to experience that joy. Yeah. Do you? No, I, I know exactly. It's, um, it's to me that space of, or that experience of joy feels like that bubbling up of love, not the relational love or, you know, anything, the, the dependent love, but just that Space it's of the loving. force of the universe, right? It's it, when the love we're talking about is like the the energy. The I always say, love is the fabric of the universe. It's the force from the spiritual universe. It's mm -hmm. the equivalent of our air. Yes. Yeah. And without love, there is no evolution. Can you imagine a life without love? Mm, no. There is no wisdom. There is no joy. So I think our destiny or, or the, the reason for our incarnation is experiencing love mm -hmm. by choice. Mm. So, so the, that's our nature. Isn't that great? I mean, I, I, I feel so sad when people think that our nature is awful, like a bad and... I, I agree. And I think what you have said so, so often that really resonates is when you're with newborn babies, right? Before they have a personality, before they are separate from everything, there's, you can't look at that baby and think, oh, well, this is a bad, this is a bad egg. You know, you just no. don't have that experience with newborn no. babies. No. no. So, so, so if the nature of humankind is, is expressed through our yearning for joy and the access to joy is through love, right? Then this school of earth is to give up anything that is not love. So the egocentrism, right? The ego is designed to survive. Any act of egoism, egocentrism, selfishness, mm -hmm. like judging the act of others, blaming them for our suffering, um, all destructive mechanism, all withholding, mm. all protection is going against nature. Mm. And I really oh. like that context because it says, okay, I'm giving it up. It's against my nature. <laughs> because you know how we do mean things or small things or petty things or whatever. Yes. If what you say to yourself is, oh, it's against my nature. Mm. It makes, you don't have to blame yourself. It's just like, oh, no, 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 no. Rectify time. 
Mm, yes. you, you need to go to the space of love, give Get up resentment, with spite, nature. blame, judgment, including of yourself. That is really, I love that, the, the idea of just realigning with your true nature. That's, it's so clear. And it reminds me too of um, what you said in the seminar last week, which was about nonviolence. Like the, that uh, nonviolence is such a, a deep teaching. It's not just like, oh, I don't go fight. There's so many levels of that violence. No, I'm not, not quotes, violence <laughs> that can show up in life. And just a small act of violence can move us away from that true nature, that alignment with the true mm -hmm. nature. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Yeah, it makes it, uh, it makes it soft and tender. I wanted to say mm -hmm. something, but it just left me. Let's see, we were talking about uh, the true nature and love as access. What is it that I wanted to say? I don't know. I don't remember. It'll come but, back. Yeah, it will come back. So the, the true nature of human being, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I know what I wanted to say. I want you to experience, to let yourself experience. Everybody, you need to close your eyes for a second. The life of a human being that does not know that their true nature is pure love and it's to be joyful. If they don't know that, then they live in dislike of themselves and resistance and shame and all the low-level emotion, isn't it, Abby? Mm -hmm. Do you yeah, see I the think suffering? the suffering. The because suffering if you know that your true, true nature is to be joyful and is love, and you do something that is not that, mm -hmm. it's just oh damn, let's go back on track, right? Yes. Uh, what did I do to myself? Let me just go back to my true nature. But if you do not experience that your true nature is love, then you live a life mm. of very difficult feelings and emotions, right? You yeah, reminded yeah. me last week of Byron Katie that got held at gunpoint. It's, it's, and, it's and she she said to the man, it was a man, right? She said, yeah. oh, please, please, please don't do that to yourself. She was talking to her true nature, to his true nature. Yes. It's an amazing story. It reminds me also of, um, have you seen the movie What Dreams May Come with Robin Williams? Yeah. Yes. And you know, he goes into the house and the house, it you can get lost in the confusion of the house. To me, that's such the such a beautifully done metaphor of that space that you don't even know that you're in heaven, right? You're just, you're lost in, they tumble on each other, the suffering, the confusion and the pain, it just tumbles. And um, to just walk out that door, right? To just, to walk out that door. I think that's the most, if you haven't seen that movie, What Dreams May Come, it's a beautiful metaphor to me of this exactly. And you make me think of free will, right? So mm. the, the right of each of us to choose about our life, to choose our emotions, to choose our feelings, to choose what thoughts to believe and to choose to mm -hmm. love or not, that is a gift of being human. Mm. And that's the free will. Wow. And that makes the possibility of possibility available to all of us, right? Mm. Because we can all choose. So choosing to surrender to your true nature, which is to be joyful, meaning spiritual happiness, right? to be happy, aligned spiritually, independent of the circumstances, and to swim in love. And whatever needs to give up, if you want to be true to your nature, you need to give it up. And that's a spiritual path. And that's a path to elevation. And I think that is what will change the world. Mm. That is so beautiful. 
Yeah, and I suddenly got why the feminine is so important, right? The feminine, the feminine conscious is comes from love, is pure love. And that is what is needed at the moment. It's a feminine conscious, right? And everybody, let me remind you, I'm not talking about men or women. I'm talking about feminine, masculine energy. We all have some. And we, to, to go back to our true nature for people to wake up, the feminine conscious, the conscious feminine is very important, very important. And the conscious masculine will hold the space for that yes. to happen. All right, Abby, the thing that's um, for people listening to this call is to let yourself experience your yearning for joy or spiritual happiness and to access that is through love. Yes. Yeah. Let's see. We do have a couple of comments. Let me see. Um, so uh, Beck asks, so why does my daughter always look for the bad in life and is drawn to that? How old is her daughter? Does she Beck, say? Can you, are you here? Can you um, share how old your daughter is? All right. So the, the, the very nature of the ego is to survive, right? That's what the ego was created for, to survive. So you can only survive something dangerous, bad, frightening, that you can't trust. You don't need to survive a butterfly. You need to survive a rhinoceros, right? That's why people watch the news all the time, because the news, why do the news only mostly speak about horrible things? Because that reactivates our ego, and our ego is very pleased because then it can survive, right? So the ego is not happy when it's not used. So people that are looking at everything under bad, the filter of it's bad, yeah. and don't have hope or possibilities, either there are people that once upon a time had an enormous possibility and they got hurt, hmm. or they're just protecting themselves, which comes to the same, right? So that's the answer I will give about your daughter without knowing her. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you, Sophie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's you can't protect yourself and believe your point of view, your judgment, your opinion, and be in joy. You can't. Right. So for your daughter to experience joy and love, she'll have to give up her point of view. Mm. We're so attached to our point of view. We are. <laughs> we really and are. Our opinions are so important. <laughs> <laughs> we really are, aren't they? They are. <laughs> we so, are so so let me tell you my opinion. Uh, no. Hi, <laughs> 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 right, darling. That was a bit of a strange score, but there it is. Oh, I exactly. thought it was great. I got a lot. Yeah. I got a lot out of it personally. Yeah, I just love hanging with you. I love hey, hanging everybody. With you. Much, much, much love to everybody. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.